All right, guys, uh, lots of things to cover, so I'm going to start right away. Uh, so this is uh, my old uh, sprite editor. Um, this is an original compiled version, basically uh, 30 years ago. And uh, I've, I've had the source for this, but I was missing a few files, so I didn't release it as open source, but what I did do was uh, I started a Windows version based on all the source code I did have which is also available as open source so I took what I had and built the Windows version. The Windows version is the uh, most up-to-date has the most features so if you want to check that out uh, it's on GitHub I'll, I'll put a link in the description but this is the original and uh, one of the things that was uh, wrong with it uh, when I checked recently is in the 256 color mode, you get things like this. Um, so I didn't think I would be able to fix this because I didn't have all the uh, source files. Uh, but after I did a, a recent video, somebody asked about the source code and I looked at the source code again and uh, I wasn't missing all that many files that I needed. So I was able to reconstruct uh, the missing files and um, let's just take a look at the uh, the new version so 16 color mode has always worked um, but if we switch to the 256 color mode let's uh, let's take a look it looks like everything's been fixed I updated the driver I compiled with the uh, Turbo Pascal 7 Original version was done in the uh, Turbo Pascal 5.5 and then later version 6. Uh, so this newly compiled version with the updated uh, Super VGA drivers uh, fixes that problem. So if you have the DOS one or like to try out the DOS one, yeah, I fixed it. And the all the source code is available. Now besides this, I also had a, a, a few companion utilities. And let me just go into those. Um, so the icon sprite editor is good for editing small images, but for editing larger images or using larger images in your pro in your programs, that was a bit of a problem. So I didn't want to create another paint program when I already had a good one, and that's. And that's Deluxe Paint. I don't think I could make a better version of this. And so what it did do was develop utilities to work with this. And uh, let me switch the mode. And let's go into this mode. And uh, let me select the format PCX. And uh, if we select, I have previously saved that as test PCX in the current folder. Let's see if it brings it up. There we go. So exact same image. What I can do with it now is I can clip it and uh, I can copy it. And uh, I can save it. Uh, so I can save it using the same uh, format as the icon editor plus a few more. And so let's choose the uh, Turbo Pascal version. So just like you did in Raster Master, you can do it here as well. So uh, it's a little tricky with the um, saving. You have to right click to select the format, but normal click uh, to save the file. So test XGF. And it's saved. Uh, so you could do this. Uh, with bigger images and use them in your program and uh, that solves the bigger image problem and also have a command line utility very similar but um, if you want to do things in a batch process that's better so this is not impressive to look at but it does allow you to create um, a res file basically you can uh, put a list of files together in a and it'll create one huge file with all the uh, files included and So you can use some code to read all that 
and you could attach this to the exe of your program um, i'm still looking for the documentation for all this stuff when i find it i'll, I'll post it on github but that's this utility and let's move on to the next uh, So converting binary files to source code or data statements, that's always been something I always needed, so I have a utility for that. And I just recently updated this, in fact, today, to also uh, add line numbers to the uh, basic data statements. And I did this because, um, let me see if I can find it here. Here we go. So I wrote a little uh, GW basic uh, mouse library recently and I had to constantly convert com file to data statements and uh, read it in and test and that just took too long because I had to manually assign the line numbers. Anyway, uh, so that's why I decided to add the line number option. But then I also thought uh, I could just be load the file into the array, except I didn't have a utility for that. So I wrote one. And so now we have a bin to be saved format. Uh, so this just takes any binary file, including a com file, and converts it to a be saved. And I'm using it in this right now so we know that it actually works so let's do list 500 to 700 and it's right here so the same code that I would create data statements with I could just be loaded into this array uh, so normally I would uh, read the items and then I assign them to this uh, array but now I could just straight from this load them so this is good for testing and then when you're finally done with your testing, you can convert them to data statements. That way you don't have a separate file, but they all they all kind of work together. And so that's it. So everything's open source now, including the uh, DOS versions and all the code is available and even new utilities. So I think that's all I have to say for today. So thanks for watching.